Hey everybody, it's me, Tammy B, and I'm here to do the Braxton Family Values. All right, so this is season four, episode 23, titled The Feud. So we found out last week, and as we know in real life, that they were on the family feud against Anthony Anderson's family. And um, so this kind of just shows some behind the scenes of what really went on. It was a cute little scene where they were talking to uh steve harvey and it was kind of funny because they were kind of asking for tips or advice and he was just like we gonna ask you stuff about nothing <laughs> so that was kind of funny so he was like who's the craziest and simultaneously they all said tracy i don't know why i thought they were gonna pick trina but i mean i know they say tracy is kind of the odd one too but i don't know why i thought they was gonna pick trina so that was kind of funny that they were all in unison on that and then there was another part where Tony was like, oh, I could do the fast money part. And simultaneously, they were all like, no. <laughs> so that was funny. I'm like, dang, I wish they could agree like that on their album or at least a single or something. So that was a cute little scene. And um, that was pretty much it. But I thought something was kind of off with the editing because on this show, they were making it seem like Tamar and Tawanda did the fast money part but I could have sworn on the real show when it really came on TV it was Tony and Tamar who did the um fast money part so I don't know that was a little weird um so then they all so they won then they all went to dinner after with the mom and it was kind of cute because you know how they break into song out of nowhere so they were kind of clowning because Tony got a lot of the answers wrong. So Tamar busted out in the old school Baptist hymnal about Tony getting the answers wrong. And they kind of all jumped in. So that was a cute little singing scene. And like I said, I just love how out of nowhere they bust into hymns. They own cue. It's harmonized. They do beats. So that was a cute little scene um, there. Um, oh, Tamar made a joke about being the one to win. Now, if I was her, I would have, well, not her, but if I was the one who actually won the last part of Fast Money, I would kind of joke too, like, oh, y'all won because, or we won because of me. But I think the fact that Tamar is kind of a brat and that she's just always trying to take credit for stuff, like no one laughed. Like no one thought it was funny that she was saying, oh, I brought home the win or we won because of us because she always trying to take credit for stuff. So she, I think she was just joking, but it seemed like just because her sisters know her so well, they couldn't even really get with her even making that joke. So that was kind of funny. <laughs> um, so the next scene was with uh, um, Trina, no, with Tracy and her son. So as you know, her son is engaged and she's not too happy about it. So she decides to bring home one of those electronic babies. Now, a couple of episodes ago she made a smart comment about oh maybe it's her mistake for letting them cook in the kitchen but once again they're cooking in the kitchen so i don't know it seemed like she have a whole lot of talk to say about this engagement but it doesn't seem like she is kind of putting a stop to a lot of stuff that she thinks is the reason why they're being engaged and her dress the girlfriend's dress i kind of thought it was a shirt i was like is she in the kitchen with t-shirt and panties on but you know i guess that's just one of them dresses that um these young people wear well I didn't see a few older women in them too, but hmm, you know, so it was a dress. It wasn't a shirt. So they brought her a baby. They brought them a baby and the baby was called Junior Junior. I thought that was a cute little name because um, the son is a junior. The son is Kevin Junior. So they named the baby Junior Junior. Um, so Kevin Senior, he was like, here's your baby. He was like, you the pappy. And he told the girlfriend, you the mammy. <laughs> I thought that was funny but of course so they continue cooking and they could not even do it like I don't know if that was all for show but Kevin Jr. laid the son the baby on the counter the kitchen island while he was trying to finish cooking and the girl was like oh I need to do this how about you hold the baby while I do this so they start arguing already so even though this is funny I hope they really do learn a life lesson from that because man that is not no joke to be that young and married with kids. I mean, it's doable, but, you know, I definitely understand what uh, Tracy means. And coincidentally, the mother, Mama Braxton, um, agrees too, because at dinner earlier after they won Family Feud, even the mom said, you know, she hopes that he kind of waits a little bit because he has his whole life ahead of him. Maybe they should send him like on a backpacking trip abroad. Like even if they send him together, just get some life experience outside of what they're doing in DC. Then maybe once they come back, they can see if they still want to do that or not. 
Um, so the next scene was um, Trina and Tawanda going on a little bar hop. So they had a cute little uh, bar bus, and I guess they were going to go to different bars and sample different drinks. But I'm like, come on now. Y'all could look online for that, or haven't y'all had enough drinks already to know what you want to do? But hey, it's for fun, and I could see, understand wanting to see the competition. Uh, so she had this one employee named Asia. And if y'all remember, like maybe two years ago or two seasons ago, Asia, on her first Bar Chicks event, Asia was the the bartender who was kind of hop, hopping back at Trina. And I was like, dang, she still work for you? <laughs> I was like, man, she would have been fired by now. And not just because I can't take constructive criticism. It's just a respect factor. Even with my boss, when I go, you know, he's a... um. You know, he has his own ways about stuff. But when I recommend stuff, you know, you go respectful. You don't go yelling and like doing your finger and saying it in front of everybody. So, you know, I was surprised she still worked for her. She must make some good drinks. <laughs> and um, so they went to one of the bars and this whole time, I just feel like Asia was being disrespectful because at their first stop, um, Tawanda made a toast and she was like, this is to the bar people. And then Trina tried to correct her and was like, for, to the bar chicks and to the bar boys. And then Asia was like, no, Tawanda said it right, bar people. And I'm like, okay, like, you're going to correct your boss like that, like, in public? And she the one who named y'all bar chicks and bar boys, so y'all better go with her name. And then, um, so they went to another or they were talking about going to another club or talking about twerking or something. And she said something to Trina like, yeah, because we know you can shake it. And I'm just like, why are you keep saying smart stuff to your boss? Like, this is crazy. I don't understand why that girl still works for her. But hey, you know, maybe that's her personality. And some people are okay with a little banter. But I don't know. To me, she was just so close to the edge so many times. Um... And let's see what happens. So next they showed a scene with Tamar and Vince at the house. And Tamar was about to wash some clothes. And she could not work the washing machine. Now, in her defense, I will say that, okay, these new high-tech washing machines do got a, a lot of settings. Like, even when I bought my washing machine like a year and a half ago, I was like, uh, I'm all reading the little instructions. But no. Tamar made it seem like she never washed clothes. She don't know how to wash clothes. She don't know what colors are. And even Vince had to come in here and tell her, like, jeans you wash on on colors. And she's like, what color is jean? And I'm like, come on, Tamar. So they finally figured it out. And she was like, oh, I should start washing my clothes all the time. Like, not, I don't know, just to make it seem like you never washed. I'm like, y'all didn't get famous till y'all was in y'all teens. And y'all, we didn't see the house that they grew up in. We like, so y'all never went to the laundromat? And especially you being the youngest, like, you never had to wash everybody's clothes? Like, I'm like, you can't forget that. Like, so that was a little bit too much for me. But, you know, hey, I mean, hey, I would like to say that I don't know how to wash or that I don't wash no more either. So, huh, maybe one day. Um, and then they had a little scene with the, uh, I guess he's the producer. His name was Damon or songwriter or something. So she was practicing her song, her new song, If I Don't Have You. And even when I heard the song on the radio, I like it, but it is really high. So I was like, dang, she's singing high. So when he was playing it for her, she was saying the same thing. She was like, dang, I got to sing that high that long. So that was that. And they had this one little cute scene where I guess she didn't want to sing or she started changing the words. And then Vincent started responding, singing too. And, you know, he could sing a little bit because he sings on the uh, Tamar and Vince uh, interlude or whatever you call it, like theme song to their show. So they kind of had a little cute scene because she was like, oh, pay my bills, pay my credit card, buy me this, buy me that. And he was like, uh just keep working i already gave you a son or i already gave you logan or some 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 so that was a cute little scene between them because sometimes when it comes to business it seemed like they always go at it about her albums and stuff um so let's see so another scene was with tamar and her mom so the video is finally finished and she finally has a copy so she is sharing the uh the video with her mother so that was kind of cool so the mom was giving her compliments telling her she looked good and the video is nice and the makeup is nice and i'm like dang tamar was fishing for compliments she's like oh i look young how young 16 18 i'm like man you don't want to be that young do you but you know so the mom was happy with the video and it was so funny because she wanted to fast forward to her part and I would be like that too. When I'd be watching stuff, I'd be like, oh, okay, like where's my picture or where's my part? So that was kind of funny that the mom was like that. And so everything went cool and then 
the mom watched the whole video so i guess she just didn't grasp the part that it was a, a brothel that they were in so tamar was like yeah you know that's what happened in brothels and she was like what you got me in a video where i'm in a brothel you should have told me i'm like you was on set like you didn't see it or the by the time uh, her mom was on camera, the video was like a third of the way over. So I'm like, you didn't realize in all this time that you guys were in a brothel? And she was like, uh-uh, you got me in this house of ill refute. And I've heard that phrase before, but I didn't really know what it meant. So I guess ill refute, house of ill refute refers to a, a, a brothel or whatever. I was like, look at I'm learning something from a, from a reality TV. <laughs> So that was that. So then they kind of went back to Trina and Tawanda in the bar. And, um, you know, they're just trying drinks. That guy from the mixology class, uh, Michael, he came. So she's like interviewing more bartenders and just kind of checking out drinks. And I mean, it just got out of hand. Everybody got drunk. And, you know, so even Michael tried to press up on Trina. And she was like, you know, no, I am a... Uh, I'm 40 years old. You're only 25. Go dance with the young girl. So he went and danced with them. So, you know, that was kind of funny. Um, and I don't know, like, if I was an employee, then that would be fun to me. I get to drink. I get to dance. I get to have fun. And Tawana, she was on the dance floor with them dancing. She was having a good old time. But I guess she better because they made her pay for the first round of drinks. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. And, um... So, like I said, as an employee, I guess that would be fun for me. But as a boss, like, no, I would not. Like, on this scene, okay, when we're testing drinks, okay, I can understand drinking. But, you know, to be drinking with the with the employees and, you know, just at the club and it, them even having an opportunity or feeling that it's okay to approach you for a date, like, I was just like, okay, she run a tree to run a little loose camp. Or, and I understand, like, some bosses do want to be fun, but... I don't know. I think if I had a bar, like I wouldn't drink with the employees or I, I wouldn't even want them to drink on the job because we all know drinking impairs you, whether you drink, whether you believe it or not, or whether you say, oh, I'm a drinker. I can handle my liquor. I can still do my job and drink like. No, so you need to be professional and bubbly, and especially for me, because when I drink, I kind of be all laxed or whatever. So. If you're supposed to be bubbly, greeting the people, bringing over guests, like, you know, I would think that you should not be drunk while doing that. So, and um, hopefully I don't scare no future uh, employees under me away by <laughs> saying that. Not to be, like I said, not to be strict, but, you know, just to have a level of professionalism, you know. So, um, that was pretty much it. So, the previews for next week look good. Um, it seems like a fight breakout. I don't know if they're at a Bar Chicks event or maybe everybody just chilling and Trina's Bar Chicks are there. But the guy, Michael, he calls somebody a bee and it just goes down. And it looked like Tamar is almost caught in the crossfire and she run out the way. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. It looks pretty good. I'm not really sure how many episodes we have left, but I know they split this season. Because, like I said, this is supposedly episode 23, but really it's like, you know, only three or like five or six episodes in from when it just came on. But, you know, this is the second uh, leg of this season. So, um, it looks pretty good and we'll just see. So, all right, guys, um, that's the Braxton Family Values. Today is Friday. Everybody just have a happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Um, make sure you guys hit me up on Twitter at Tammy B underscore. And you know what's up. Give me the thumbs up on this video. And remember to like the video, share the video, comment, and we'll just keep this thing going, okay? So, all right, I'll see you next time. Bye.